Hello, I'm Kat Joseph, the first multimedia editor of the Paisano. This is the first of a series of videos in which I'm going to teach you how I do a variety of things in different Adobe software. Today I'll be showing you how I take a white background and turn it into sort of an empty white void for typically for the magazine. I will be doing this in Adobe Lightroom CC. I've already selected the photo that I want to work on. It's a picture of myself for the Paisano Plus Culture magazine. And we'll start by hiding the film strip. I highly recommend shooting in RAW because you have a lot more options when it comes to editing in Lightroom. You can restore a lot of overexposure and make extreme adjustments because the photo isn't compressed, like if you were taking photos in JPEGs. So first we will adjust the exposure a little bit, just a little bit. And this is quite orange, so I'm going to go over here to the white balance selector, which will let me pick an area of the photo that is supposed to be white. And let's see, that's a little bit more natural. What was it over here? Yeah, that's a little cool, so we'll stick with this, and we can try also my shirt, but that's a little, it's not, it has more shadows. So I'm just hitting Command Z to go back to the white balance that I liked the most. And let's see, is there anything else that we need to adjust? Let's try bringing up the highlights a little bit. That's a little bit too much, but there we go. Shadows. Let's see. Hmm. No, the shadows worked pretty well. If you decide that you don't like what you've done, say I, I thought about darkening the shadows a bit, but I want it to go back to zero, you can just double click right in the center and it sets it back to zero. So let's go ahead and switch over to the brush tool and well, set everything back to normal. Okay. Well, actually let's start by pre-cropping this photo because it's just going to be white in the background. The like on the magazine page, we don't need it to be a certain ratio, like frame size. So this will work and If we decide that we don't like it, we can always change it back. But in the brush tool, let's adjust the size of the brush, bring exposure up a 
bit bring highlights all the way up and whites all the way up and to make sure that we don't have to get super picky with everything we can adjust the blacks to be a little bit darker or just the shadows to be a little bit darker and now we can start brushing on here and increasing that exposure and even though I'm running slightly over the edge of my sweater, my sleeve, because we made sure that the shadows and the blacks didn't change except get slightly darker at the edges, we're not overexposing anything over here. So just go around and white out all of that backdrop. So in here, because I'm wearing a white shirt and we don't want that to blend in, we will need to change the size of the brush and get a little bit closer. I'm going to hit high. <laughs> I'm going to click off of brush and click back. You can also just hit this plus so that way you can create a different thing. But if you click off of the brush tool, then you can drag and zoom in as you want. Let's see, brush tool, okay. We'll just be really careful at that edge, not to overexpose it. There we go. And I'm hitting uh, Command minus to zoom out. And we can continue. Okay, that was a little bit too much because I started overexposing my hand. So we'll we'll just take it to about here, and then the rest we'll do close up. We can probably get this little thing down here without any hassle. All right, is there anything else that we can use the big brush for? The space above my head. If you notice that you've done something too much or you want to make any changes to what you've selected, you can change these settings while you're working with it, you just have to select whichever um, section of you're trying to work on. So this is the one that I was adjusting, and let's put the exposure back over here. All right, that's about yeah, that's it's about the same. So we'll go in and just Okay, now I'm I'm adjusting things a little bit too much cuz it's starting to erase my hair. So we'll go ahead and bring down the shadows a bit. Maybe not that much. Cuz we still want to get rid of this. If I lose a few flyaways, I'm fine with that.
Okay. That stroke. Let's see, is it? Is my hair still there? Yes, it is. So that'll work. Let's go back to the brush and keep. That's a little too overexposed. Now let's go ahead and create a new brush pattern that way we can or brush selection rather. That way we can pick out everything and not overdo it. Lightening my hand a little bit, but I don't mind that. Now, we may want to keep a little bit of that shadow. That way, my cuff doesn't completely blend in with the background. There we go. Did I get that earlier? No, that looks much better. Okay. What else are we missing? Okay, over here. I'm running into my hand a little bit too much. So we may need to darken the shadows a little bit more. We may have to decrease the highlights a little bit, but we'll see. Go ahead and make this smaller so we can fine tune and we'll add another brush selection right here to try and reduce the shadow even more. And we'll do the same right here while we have this fine tuning brush setting. We'll add another brush layer in here. Alright, I think that looks pretty natural. We'll just zoom in a little and see if we missed anything. This looks a little too curved. So I'm going to go ahead and break out the corners a little bit more. Okay. 
now we have a white background. We can make some adjustments to the highlights or the exposure a little. just to make it a slightly brighter if you want otherwise you can leave it darker but since it's in a completely bright white setting I think it looks a little bit nicer to increase amount of light on the subject. Okay, and you can still see the difference between the white fabric and the background. So, it's done. If you want to go back and adjust the crop, you can, and then you'll just white out using the brush tool possibly making different brush layers over the same spot to completely white out this background. Now that we've finished making the background completely white, we can prepare the photo for print and for screens, which I will do in the following video. Thanks for watching. Click our logo to subscribe or click one of the videos for more from the Paisano. Leave a comment letting us know your thoughts and what you'd like to see us cover next.